name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, the word of God tells us, blessed are those who wait upon the Lord. At this altar, we wait upon our God. Waiting after having offered our lives on the altar. Waiting for God to accept our oblation. Waiting for God to change us totally. Let us offer to God everything that has gone wrong with our lives. It is the Lord who makes it all right for us. Let us offer on this altar everything that has gone out of our control. It is the Lord who takes authority over everything that has gone out of our control. Let us offer on this altar everything sad, everything sick, waiting for God's power to descend, healing us and filling us with his love. Let's keep our hands open in front of us. When we confess, what we really tell the Lord is that we wait upon him. We wait upon him to accept our sins, accept our pains, waiting upon him to intervene and turn everything to our right. With that faith firm in our hearts, let us confess together. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have witnessed in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us all. power of your mercy descend upon us and change us totally. Give us the grace to wait upon you, O God, for your work to be completed in us. Because you reveal to us, you are constantly working on us to turn our lives to what you want us 
to be. Here we are offering our lives to you. Enable us to be open to your Holy Spirit descending upon us and transforming us. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 30 verses 18 to 22. Yet the Lord is waiting to show you favor and he rises to pity you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. O people of Zion, who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher, while from behind a voice shall sound in your ears. This is the way, walk in it. When you would turn to the right or to the left, and you shall consider unclean your silver-plated idols, and your gold-covered images, you shall throw them away like filthy rags, to which you say, Be gone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, the word of my Lord, deep within my being, Oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. Oh, the word of my Lord, deep within my being. Oh, the word of my Lord. I chose you to be mine Before you left your mother's side I called to you my child To be my son Oh, the word of my Lord Deep within my being Sisters, let's slowly and gently rise to listen to the gospel as we join in singing the acclamation. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise
the lord be with you and with your spirit our reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory, glory be to you o lord chapter 25 verses 1 to 13 then the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom five of them were foolish and five were wise the foolish ones when taking their lamps brought no oil with them but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps since the bridegroom was long delayed they all became drowsy and fell asleep at midnight there was a cry behold the bridegroom come out to meet him then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps the foolish one said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out but the wise ones replied no for there may not be enough for us and for you go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves while they went off to buy it the bridegroom came and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him then the door was locked afterwards the other virgins came and said lord lord open the door for us but he said in reply amen i say to you i do not know you therefore stay awake for you know neither the day nor the hour the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church o oh god for the good of the whole church for the good of my life for the glory of your godhead we offer to you o oh god everything of our life all that is happening all that is not happening all that we want to happen in our lives we bring it all to you o oh god and we offer to you with the bread and wine for you to accept us and change us and make us your own we make this prayer for the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved son Jesus Christ, 
your word through whom you made all things whom you send us our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 lord god holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith he is lord he is lord he has risen from the dead and he is lord he the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with fancies our pope george our bishop and all the clergy 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the confidence of the children, in the love of our Heavenly Father, the soul raise our hands up to him and pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace and love. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, for only say your word, and my soul shall be healed.
of your son O God hold us close to your heart let us never be satisfied let us never cling on to anything of this world let not our sorrows lead us to despair let us not our success lead us to greed rather O God let us turn our hearts to you and wait upon you O oh God to fill us we make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit the Almighty God bless you Father, Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord thanks, thanks be to God, God.